everyone and welcome back to Tech5 Production. A laptop that's faster than most gaming PC out there? I'm intrigued. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the ASUS ROG Strix Scar 18. Let's have a look at it. Now, for those who may not know, there are three gaming laptop lineup for the ASUS ROG series. That's the ROG Flow, the ROG Zephyrus, and the ROG Scar, with the Scar being the highest end gaming lineup from them. With our model over here having the Intel Core i9 13th gen along with an RTX 4090. Now, when I first heard of those specs, I imagined this laptop to be big, bulky, and maybe quite ugly as well. But actually, no. The Scar 18 only weighs 3.1 kilograms, and for all the specs that's under the hood of this laptop, that's actually not too bad. And I would even say that the power adapter is heavier than the laptop. <sighs> yeah, it feels heavier. Now, in terms of look, the ASUS Scar 18, although being a very gamer-focused laptop, doesn't have any crazy lines on the cover or the chassis itself that screams gamer. The only more gamer aesthetic that can be found on this laptop would be the exhaust vent on the laptop itself, which the Sky 18 kind of needs in order to expel all the hot air out. Now, at the exhaust vent area over here, there's a little piece of cover over here that ASUS calls it the armor cap, which they give you an extra piece as well when you buy this laptop, but you can even custom make and 3D print one yourself, as ASUS actually put their official 3D file into their official website for you to custom make your own armor cap design on the Scar 18. The cover and most of the chassis itself is made of this soft touch plastic material which makes it feel premium and expensive. However, it can be a bit of a fingerprint magnet. Right beneath the monitor over here, there's a semi-transparent look on the laptop giving you a look through into your insides of the laptop which is pretty cool. Now onto the RGB illumination side of things, there are three RGB areas on this laptop, with the first one being the ROG logo at the front cover, the second one being the front bottom area of the laptop over here, which you can see, and the last one being at the exhaust vent area over there. Now anyone who has used a ASUS laptop or even their motherboard will be familiar with the Armory Crate software, which you'll be needing to change the RGB on this laptop. You can also use the macro key on this laptop over here to change the aura sync color through its preset as well instead of going through Armory Crate. Now, if you do decide to turn off all of the RGB on this laptop, I don't think the Scar 18 will look too out of place even in an office environment as it don't look too crazily gamer, which is good. And with this slim-ish form factor of the laptop, will the cooling be enough? Especially, it's powered by an Intel Core i9 along with an RTX 4090. Well, ASUS actually done quite a lot of homework on this and has prepared quite a lot of cooling features on this laptop, with the first one being a full width heatsink right below the laptop, and the second one being the heat pipes being nearer to the exhaust vent for better heat expellation, and it has a triple fan design right below the laptop. Now, all this combined, ASUS also combined it with the Thermal Grizzly Conductor Knot Liquid Metal for the best thermal heat transfer that they can get out of a laptop. Now, has all of this feature actually worked? Well, we'll find out later in our temp, st temp statistic later. Now, onto the ports of this laptop. On the right side of the SCAR 18, you'll find two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A, and on the left side over here, you'll find two USB Type C, with one of them supporting Thunderbolt, while the other one supports charging of the laptop. Now, there's also an Ethernet port over here, along with a 3.5mm combo jack on the left side of the laptop, if you prefer to have a wired connection. And of course, there's one more port over here for you to plug in the power adapter of the laptop, which we'll get into later as well. Now, onto the main dish of the laptop, which is its performance and specification for the SCAR 18. Now, the SCAR 18 comes with an Intel Core i9-13980HX, so that's the 13th gen overclockable version on the laptop. 64 gigs of DDR5 running at 4800 MHz, two 2 terabytes NVMe Gen 4 by 4 NVMe running in RAID 0, which is crazy. 
and there's an RTX 4090 for the main dish which is running at 175 watts. So all this indicates that the SCAR 18 is a beast when it comes to gaming. So let's run through the benchmark and see what this thing can do. So, from the benchmark result, it's clear that the SCAR 18 is a beast when it comes to gaming and it performs very great for productivity. But for all those use cases, you will want to pair it with a nice display as well. Fortunately, however, the ROG SCAR 18 does come with a very good display as well. Now, ASUS calls this display the ROG Nebula display which is essentially an 18-inch IPS panel running in a WQXGA, which is resolution of 2560 by 1600 with an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Now, don't think you'll only be getting high resolution for this monitor, as you'll also be getting high refresh rate of up to 240 Hz, and it also supports G-Sync. So, everything on this display will look really crisp and buttery smooth. And don't think that this display is only good for gamers. It's great for content creation as well, as it has DCI-P of 100% coverage, validated by Pantone, and it will also have brightness of up to 500 nits, making it even great for content creation outdoors. Not saying that you should do that, but you can. And it will also have Dolby Vision HDR, making it great for watching movies and editing photos as well. Now, let's talk back about the temps a bit of the SCAR 18. Now, the SCAR 18 comes shipped with three preset fan modes, and that is Silence, Performance, and Turbo. And during idle with the SCAR 18, the temperature of the CPU hovers around the 50 to 60 mark. Now, this is because the fan doesn't really kick in in work, low workload situation, like right now. However, when it is gaming, the temp of the CPU went up to around 85 to 90 degrees, whereas for the GPU, it went up to around 75 to 80 degrees. Now, the temps of those are quite to be expected from a laptop, especially since it's running an i9 with an RTX 1490. That being said, however, in order to get the full performance from the SCAR 18, you have to turn on the turbo fan mode for this laptop. And the problem with the turbo fan mode is that it can get quite noisy, to say the least. Here, just have a listen to this. Now let's talk a bit of the audio and built-in speakers of the SCAR 18. And right off the bat, they sound really, really good. Now the speakers are Adobe Atmos powered and you get two tweeters over here and two downward firing woofers down here. And since the tweeters are placed right below the monitor, it can have very clear direction directly to you. So you get really clear audio quality. Me. Now the speakers themselves have very punchy bass and clear treble and it doesn't even get distorted when you max out the volume as it remains very clear all the way and it's overall very impressive for a built-in set of speakers. However, if you're someone who prefer to use headset, the ROG SCAR 18 does come with a set of ROG Fusion 2 300 headset. 
Unfortunately, our review unit over here doesn't come with this set of headset. However, it is nice that it comes bundled together with that headset. Now, after using the Scar 18 as my daily driver for around a week and a half, here are some things that I like and don't like quite as much on the laptop itself from a user's perspective point of view. So the typing on the keyboard itself feels good. Now this is thanks to it being feeling close to the MacBook butterfly key, but with a lot more tactility. And it also helps that the keyboard itself when you type on it or when you game on it, doesn't really flex a lot. And you actually require quite a lot of force in order for the keyboard to flex, which is a good thing. You also get five dedicated macro key at the top of the keyboard over here for you to put any extra key binds that you want. Perhaps you're a video editor or a gamer that needs extra buttons. Now the touchpad over down here is nice and large and makes it quite easy to use. However, the ASUS virtual uh, calculator thing is gone as you get a physical numpad over here. However, the problem with that is ASUS, how can I tell if the numlock is on or off? You put a little light in your caps lock. Why not at the numlock? Now I can't see if it's on or off. Oh well. Now the battery of the SCAR18 doesn't last very long as it is running on a 91 hour battery. However, when I was typing the script of this SCAR18 as I was using it on battery mode, it only lasted for about an hour and a half and I was only using it for a few Google Chrome tabs along with YouTube for music and podcast playing in the background. So it doesn't last very long. However, it's to be expected with a laptop of this spec. However, charging on it is quite fast, however, as with the included adapter, it charge finish in about one hour and a half as well. So that's pretty good. However, the adapter itself comes with this pretty short cable. So if your table is any taller, it can't really reach to it and you have to put it on the table itself, which is not that great. So can you please make a longer cable, Asus? But hey, at least you can charge it with a USB Type-C cable as one of them is able to support USB charging of up to 100 watts. So it won't be able to charge as fast as the included power adapter as that one is 330 watts. However, it's nice to know that at least you can still charge it with a Type-C cable. Yes, I tried it. It does work. Now there's an included mouse with the ROG SCAR18 as well and that's the ROG Gladius 3. Clicks on it feels overall pretty good. It feels quite light. And there's Aura Sync as well to fully sync up with your laptop along with this mouse. And for an included bundle together mouse, can't really complain, it feels pretty good. Now in terms of software, the ROG SCAR18 is actually quite light and don't really have any bloatware. With it coming pre-installed with Windows 11, along with Armory Crate, which you kind of need to play with the Aura Sync of this laptop. That being said, however, there is McAfee antivirus. Why Asus? You were so close to having the perfect software setup here. Oh well, just a bit more Asus. On the topic of software, the laptop uses Nvidia Optimus, as with most laptops, where it switches between integrated and dedicated graphic card. That being said, however, it is quite annoying when you're trying to launch a game and Nvidia Optimus kicks in and switches from integrated to dedicated graphic card, where the SCAR18 itself would actually hangs a bit, maybe two to three seconds when you're entering the game. And if you try to alt tap or minimize the game, you'll hang again for two to three seconds, as this all happens because Nvidia is trying to adjust dedicated or integrated graphic card. But of course, this issue can be quite easily resolved if you just choose dedicated or integrated graphic card and lock it there. But it's just something I thought is worth mentioning. Now the ASUS ROG Strix SCAR18 is priced at 18,999 ringgit. And for that, I would say it's actually quite competitive, even when compared to desktop. Some of you might go, what? But here's why. For this laptop, not only you're getting the top of the line Intel Core i9 along with the RTX 1490 with 64 gigs of RAM, there is also this beautiful, gorgeous display over here that's 2K that runs on 240 Hz and you get a really good built-in sound speaker as well. So I would say, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Now, who do I think this laptop is for? Well, it's great for gamers and content creators that constantly need to be on the move. 
say if you're a video editor and you're going to another country to film some things and you need the video to be done as soon as you can, I would say this is a good laptop for that. As judging from the benchmark score, I'm pretty confident this can even do 4K videos without much issues. And it also allows you to do game at the side. Truly, one laptop that fits all. So that was our take on the ASUS ROG Strix Scar 18. I'll be honest, I'll be quite sad to return this laptop back to ASUS as my time on it was really good and it really opened my eye on what a laptop is capable of with all that power and it allowed me to do everything on the move as well. I'm going to miss you. That's all our time we have. We hope you share, like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.